What's going on YouTube? One of the things I've been thinking about recently is do Republicans hate electric cars? The reason why I kept thinking about this is I've seen numerous times on comment sections on Fox News and other right-leaning publications that you know, electric cars don't help the environment, they're trying to control us, it's not worth it, gas cars are the best. And I rarely see that on you know, MSNBC and other publications. So I wanna dig into this a little bit deeper. I thought about this a little bit more and I've come to the conclusion that I don't believe it's about climate change. I think the reasons that Republicans don't like EVs as much as Democrats is simpler than that. This is EVs with Qua and I'm a new YouTube channel that talks about EVs, reviews on EVs, reaction videos on EVs, commentary and news. I personally love EVs, I own a Tesla and I just wanna see where this market goes and I wanna make some videos about it. If you like EVs as well, click the like and subscribe button below. So while I don't think there's anything fundamentally right or left leaning about the ownership of electric cars, I think the reason why a lot of Republicans don't like electric cars is at this current moment, the use case of electric cars is just not as useful for Republican leaning individuals as Democratic leaning individuals. Let's break this down. We all know urban voters mainly vote Democratic. Additionally, rural voters mainly vote Republican. But did you know that this is a relatively recent phenomenon? If you look at this chart, you see that until 2010, rural voters voted Democrats and Republicans in the same amount. But something happened in 2010 and rural voters have overwhelmingly started to vote Republican more and more so. This trend has not stopped and we can still see it today. Okay, so we've established that urban voters are mainly Democratic and rural voters are mainly Republican. So let's just keep that in the back of our minds for now. In a different Pew Institute study, two thirds of Americans favor using incentives to increase the usage of electric cars. However, if you break this down, the difference between Democrats and Republicans is large. 84% of Democrats prefer using incentives to increase the usage of electric cars, but only 46% of Republicans. That's a staggering difference of 38%. When asked if they would consider electric car as their next vehicle, 58% of Democrats say they will, while only 23% of Republicans say they will. A difference of 35%. So these are really large differences for these two questions. So you can clearly see that data supports the fact that Democrats prefer electric cars over Republicans. I believe the difference in opinions towards the usage of electric cars between Republicans and Democrats has to do with three simple things, price, range, and the charging infrastructure. Okay, so let's talk about price. Rural communities are less affluent than urban communities. That's a fact. And we said earlier that rural communities lean Republican. With the cheapest EV going over 200 miles right now being a Chevy Bolt EUV, I don't believe electric cars are available to the masses right now at affordable price. Bolt EUV starts at $28,000 for the base model. And with dealer add-ons and adjustments right now, you can be looking at $35,000 to $40,000 for a Chevy Bolt EUV. Who would have thought that you would have spent $40,000 on a Chevy Bolt. If you buy a Chevy Bolt EUV right now, you're gonna have to wait six or more months just to get your hands on it due to the issues with the supply chain right now. That's a lot of time, that's a lot of money, and I don't know about you, but a lot of Americans right now don't have those two resources, specifically rural communities that lean Republican. The second thing I wanna to talk to you about is range. A lot of people who drive electric cars say 250 miles is more than enough for their driving habits, but what we don't see is these people are driving on urban streets. Yeah, of course 250 miles is more than enough if you go stop and go traffic in a city. Some of the viewers here who live in the rural areas might test to this. When you're driving in rural areas, you go a lot faster for further distances to get from point A to point B. So yeah, someone in Chicago might drive 10 miles to work each way a day and think that their 250 mile range is more than enough. But someone in a small town in Alabama might be driving over 100 miles just to get to work. And 250 miles per charge is just not enough for the distances that these rural folks are driving. Compound the fact that in rural areas, you drive a lot faster at highway speeds and the battery is just not as efficient. Electric vehicles are more efficient with stop and go traffic. Gas cars on the other hand are more efficient with just highway driving. And on top of that, the winter, some of these people are living in Minnesota, Ohio, areas that get very, very cold, sub freezing temperatures during the winter. The range could go from 250 to under 200 miles per charge. These are huge issues that affect urban drivers, but it just magnifies for these rural drivers. So right now, these electric cars just can't go the distances for these individuals. Okay, so the last thing I wanna talk about is the charging infrastructure right now. Well, more chargers are being built every day. Ask anyone outside the Tesla network, so basically anyone who doesn't drive a Tesla, how good the infrastructure is for, for charging right now. So think Electrify America. 
And they'll tell you the charging infrastructure is subpar. A lot of charging stations are broken. They don't tell you until you get there that they're broken. It doesn't update, it charges slow. There's a lot of confusions between charge rates. Just a lot of problems right now with the charging infrastructure. These problems are magnified for more rural areas. Okay, don't believe me? Look at this map of the 2020 election. Here we're mapping out the different counties in the US and if they voted Democrats or Republicans with Democrats being blue and Republicans being red. As you can see, Democrats are concentrated on these urban areas on the coast and some pockets of the Midwest. Now overlay on top of that, a map of the current charging stations, and we can see that these two maps correlate very, very highly. So urban areas or Democratic voting areas have a lot of charging stations, while rural areas or Republican voting areas don't. The infrastructure is just not there. So what can we say about all of this? So for one, I don't think that Republicans hate electric cars. I just think as of right now, the use cases for a lot of these people who do vote Republican, particularly people who live in the rural areas, it's just not a compelling use case. They're not cheap at all. The infrastructure is just not there and the range is just not good enough. You know, I'm very optimistic with the future EVs, with the brake throughs and battery technologies that will get cars that can go 500 plus miles per charge, be very efficient, have really good charging infrastructure, and the prices will drop. Eventually, these EVs won't be a hot topic in the political arena anymore. Now, there are definitely a lot more nuances to this than I'm letting on, and I know I've skipped a lot of nuances, so if you have any other reasons why Republicans might dislike EVs more than Democrats, please comment below. This is Evie Zuqua, and if you like what you saw today, click the like and subscribe button below. I'll make more content like this and other content that relates to EVs as well. I'm very excited about the channel, and I hope you are too. See ya.